G'day guys, Stas here. Today, we're gonna to talk about Vico's Viper XBA Fresh Word Kit. Let's get into it. So you can see here, got the, uh, the Viper XBA in glass. It's a little bit cloudy. I only kegged it yesterday, to be fair. So there's still a little bit of yeast in it. That will, I'm sure, clear out over the next couple of days as the beer continues to condition and fully carbonate. We're here today to just talk about fresh work kits and uh, the, the Viper XPA fresh work kit in particular. If you've never done a, a fresh work kit, this video is for you. And if you're thinking you wanna get into all grain brewing, but you don't quite wanna to have to uh, invest in the equipment quite yet, or if you don't have the time, and a fresh work kit is pretty much your answer. So what's the benefits of a fresh work kit? A fresh work kit is one that's been crafted or brewed at a craft, a local craft brewery somewhere in the Melbourne area. At the moment, that's where they're produced. And you're getting all the, the benefits of all grain, such as the freshness of wort and fullness of flavor. Uh, as well as some of the uh, extra things like water chemistry from the brewery and of course the brewer's time and energy that they've put into creating this wort for you. It's been hopped, so it's got bittering hops, flavor hops or whirlpool hops, um, flavor and aroma hops. Um, and it all comes packaged in a semi-convenient, I'll, I'll explain more in a minute, package. It's a 22 liter fresh wort kit, so it's a full volume. Uh, there's a couple of other uh, well-known brands that um, do a similar thing, but they're only 15 litres and you have to top it up with five or so litres of water to get the full 20 litre um, batch. This is 22 litres, so there's no additional water required. So you know you're getting a consistent water profile across your water that you use. Um, as well as the fresh wort kit, um, some recipes require additional dry hops. And of course, you need to purchase a yeast um, to ferment your wort and turn it into beer. So, when you order a fresh wort kit, you get some instructions and some information about the beer. Let's talk a little bit about the recipe. This is a fairly simple recipe, just two malts. It's five kilos of crisp pills and uh, 250 grams of the crisp dextrin malt. Now this of course isn't for the full batch, but this is what the equivalent recipe would be, scaled down to a homebrew batch. And it's hopped with Eldorado and Equinot hops, uh, 15, five, zero minutes, and of course a dry hop. I'll put a link to the recipe in the description uh, if you're interested to have a look. So as I was saying before, uh, <laughs> the semi-convenient package. Probably the hardest thing about doing a fresh work kit is to lift it up and get it into your fermenter without making a big mess everywhere. How to tip this in? Okay. This is fairly easy to do. Uh, get it in the fermenter, of course, and make a little bit of a mess, as you can see in the footage playing now. That's that's pretty much all you have to do, apart from pitch your yeast. Um, the thing that takes the most amount of time uh, is sanitizing your fermenter, of course. It's really important that you sanitize your fermenter and anything that's going to come into contact with the wort slash beer, because you don't want an infection in there at all. So once I'd sanitized my fermenter, I tipped most of the wort into the fermenter, except for a few little bits that I ended up getting on the floor and my shoe. <laughs> uh, put the yeast in, uh, made sure it was at the correct temperature, 20 degrees, and then fermented that out. Um, started at around 19 degrees and gradually ramped up as the, uh, the fermentation passed 50% attenuated or 50% of the sugars had been converted into alcohol. Then I added the double dry hops as per the recipe and I went away and I had a friend come around and cr hit it down to uh, Crash Chill uh, while I was away, uh, which is where it stayed 
under, under pressure and then I racked it into a keg after just coming back a couple of days ago. And so now you can see it's in the glass. So this is why it's a little bit hazier than normal. It does still smell and taste like there's a little bit of yeast in there, but it is nice and dry, a good level of bitterness, um, and just a slight uh, fruitiness on, on the after palate and the nose. However, that's gonna really shine through once the yeast drops out uh, after a couple more days of conditioning in the fridge. So if you're interested in fermenting all grain beer at home, and you're not quite sure if you're ready to dive in for the full four to six hour uh, brew day that, that all grain brewing normally is, uh, and you wanna just try something different, I actually think it's quicker than your, your old um, tin and kilo sugar, uh, because you don't need to heat up the, uh, the, the tins in the sink and mix it all in and dissolve it and make sure it's all fine with hot water and then top it up. You're just, you're tipping the, the ready-made wort into your fermenter and away you go. So yeah, that's the Viper XBA from Beer Co. Um, it's a very nice drop. I think as it conditions a little bit more, it's gonna be a dangerous beer to drink because at 5.8%, it's really drinkable and you know you need to be you need to be a little bit careful when pouring yourself just one more beer before you <laughs> you get on your merry way. So as always. I'd like to thank Beerco for helping me to make this video. They kindly sent the Viper XBA fresh work kit for me to try. Um, and I think it's a lovely drop. If you wanna get into uh, brewing a fresh work kit yourself, check out the links below where you will see a link to all the things you need to put your own fresh work kit down in your home brewery to have either for bottling or for kegging at home. Uh, until the next video, this has been Stas from Stas Brewing, brought to you by Beer Co. Signing out, this time with a Viper XBA. Cheers. <laughs>